हेलो एवरीवन साई राम वेलकम बैक टू द साइंस क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन वी वर डूइंग द रिविजन ऑफ लेसन नंबर नाइन दैट इज द ह्यूमन बॉडी ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट यस वी हैड ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट ऑर्गन्स राइट एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स सो organ system is a group of organs working together to do an important job is called an organ system right there are several organ systems in our body which help you to stay alive and do various things in last part we had learned about the skeletal system the muscular system the digestive system right so children today we are going to do a revision of the re respiratory system the circulatory system the excretory system the reproductive system and about the nervous system okay so let's start so first is the respiratory system so children the respiratory system is made up of nose wind pipe and lungs we breathe in air enters our body through our nose right it then passes to the through the wind pipe and goes to the lungs the air we breathe the air we breathe in has oxygen which we need to get energy from food the oxygen reaches to all parts of our body through the blood the oxygen helps in burning of fat from the food that we eat and that gives us energy the process of taking in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide is called breathing process okay so breathing purifies our blood and help us to obtain energy yes so about the nose now we breathe in and breathe out through our nose right the hair in our nose filter out the dust germs and other particles that enter the nose through air then about wind pipe the air enters the lung through the wind pipe then air reaches to the lungs through the wind pipe then the lungs expand when the air enters them that's why chest also expands okay when we breathe out air our chest relaxes means our chest contract okay this is our respiratory system so air enter our body through our nose then it goes to the wind pipe and then it goes to the lungs okay then about the reproductive system yes the reproductive system helps in producing babies okay the human reproductive system is responsible for producing babies by giving birth men and women have different reproductive system yes then we had learnt about excretory system the process of removal of waste products formed in the body of living organism is called excretion okay the process of removal of waste product formed in the body of living organism is called the excretion so excretory organs now children tell me which are the excretory organs do you remember some organs of our body such as lungs kidneys anus and skin are involved in re removing waste from the body they are called excretory organs so children lungs kidneys and anus and skin are excretory organs okay so excretory system the excretory system consists of organs which removes waste from the body 
in that first is skin our skin throws out excess water and excess salt as sweat then second one is lungs when you breathe out our lungs re releases carbon dioxide from the body through our nose okay then kidneys kidneys are a pair of bean shaped organs they are the main organs of excretory system kidneys help to keep our blood clean the waste that is removed by the kidneys is thrown out of our body as urine okay yes this is the excretory system that is also called urinary system okay you can see two bean shaped kidneys yes then we had learnt about nervous system yes there are many organ systems in our body they also have to work together to keep you alive right we have excretory system we have muscular system we have digestive system so there are many organ systems in our body and they have to work together to keep you alive so who tells them what work they should do who controls all the organ systems yes our brain tells each organ what to do by sending messages through nerves okay our brain tells each organ what to do so children what are the functions of nerves nerves are like wires message messages from all parts of your body also reach to the brain through these nerves okay yes this is our nervous system you can see brain and the blue color lines that are our nerves okay so your brain and nerves form your nervous system okay yes then we had learnt about the circulatory system so the circulatory system an organ system that help it to transport blood inside our body is called a circulatory system okay an organ system that help it to transport blood inside our body is called the circular circulatory system the circulatory system consists of the heart the blood and the network of blood vessels okay yes this is the picture of our heart the heart is the main organ in the circulatory system the heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all the parts parts of the body okay the heart is heart also receives blood from all the organs of the body this is about the heart this is the function of heart okay our heart pumps oxygen rich blood to the body through this red colored thin tube like structure known as blood vessels you can see red color thin tube like structure in the diagram that are our blood vessels okay our heart pumps oxygen rich blood to the body through this red colored thin tube like structure then our heart also receives deoxygenated blood from all parts of our body through the blue colored thin tube like structure known as blood vessels you can also see a blue color thin tube like structure okay so our heart receives deoxygenated blood that is impure blood from all the parts of our body through the blue colored thin tube like structure known as blood vessels yes now about the blood vessels blood travels in the, in our body through tubes called blood vessels it carries oxygen and digested food to all the parts of the body it also collects waste from all parts of our body yes then about the 
blood okay so blood is a red colored fluid that flows through the blood vessels from the heart to the parts of the body and then back to the heart blood transports nutrients absorbed from food then oxygen and carbon dioxide and water inside the body okay blood transports nutrients absorbed from food and oxygen and carbon dioxide and water inside the body okay so children the heart the blood and the blood vessels make up your circulatory system i hope you understand till here so children read the lesson thoroughly okay go through the question and answers and textbook exercise thank you